Well, that was pretty quick, guys. Hey, what are we doing tonight? Um, we are going outside and giving the plants a smoothie. A smoothie? Yeah, look! What all is in there, guys? Eggs, celery, and lots of Eggs and celery! <coughs> Hey, Sam, Sammy, what's in the there? In. What's in there, bud? And banana peels. Yeah, there's a, a leftover baked potato, some banana eggshells, banana peels, uh, broccoli stems, all kinds of stuff we've just kind of been saving over the course of the week. Some eggshells. There's two ways you can do this, guys. We could either pour this or, you know, just put it all in whole pieces in the compost pile. Or we do it this way, which is more fun, I think. We add a bunch of water. Yeah. Make this uh, kind of smoothie mix. It has all kinds of uh, rich in nitrogen and trace minerals and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, what we're going to do is go outside. The other thing we're going to do, guys, what is it? Um, what are we hunting for? Cabbage, cabbage worms. Cabbage worms. The elusive yeah, cabbage dark. worms. And a you got to turn it on, bub. Okay. Here, turn it on. Press more. Alright, so. Come on, Let's go outside. What I'm going to do is take a little measuring cup with me. Hey, watch the cat, guys. Hey. Okay, shut the door. Hey, go. 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 Outside. Emma, give it back. Give it back. Okay. Okay, so usually the cabbage worms, and it's probably a little too early for cabbage worms because I haven't seen. Do you know where another flashlight is? No, not yet. You cannot possibly ever see any of them oh. with Samuel just shining them all over the sky. Okay. Well, basically, what we would do is we'd be out here, oh. and you can't really see because it's dark. We would be looking for cabbage worms, and the telltale yeah. signs are that they like to eat on the leaves, the foliage of my plants. Here, I'll show you how to use it. Emma, okay. shine in on one of these plants here. Oh, but I can't, because Samuel won't let me. Alright. Daddy, can I have it? Okay, so we're back for the second part of this. We found a little headlamp. Emma, what are you wearing there? A little headlamp? Uh-huh. Okay. Show it, shine in on the plants. I am! Yeah, I know you are. Good job, Dad. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is just kind of look at the leaves here as we're kind of going through and see if there's any signs of the elusive cabbage worm. Again, it's probably a little too early for them. I'm not seeing any of the yellow butterflies that normally you see during the day. And what those are, those are that's the full-grown version of the cabbage worm and they like to flutter around and they lay eggs um, near on the plants which hatch into these little green bright green worms that eat the leaves at night during the day um, the other thing we're going to be doing is applying our plant smoothie we've got a plant smoothie that we're going to be giving our plants so Olivia, you want to film this, honey? Yeah. I'll film this. You need right, to keep here. it steady. Keep it steady. Follow Dad. Okay, shine on the plants. Shine them on the plants. Normally we would do this during the day, but we're just trying to have a little fun. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this smoothie here and put it right in the root zone. Looks like applesauce. Green apple sauce. Green apple sauce. And don't trust that. That's yucky. It's no. yucky. Yeah, it's yucky. Uh. Oh. Can I have a turn with one of the I lights? Just, just going to smear that around. The other thing you can do is um, just kind of dig around the root zones, not very deep, but and you just apply this and then it'll seep down and the plant will get the nutrients. So. You guys have any questions? Okay, if we find a cabbage worm as we're looking here, we will get to that. So. Good evening. We are uh, 
finishing up our little series here on uh, garden pests, uh, focusing on the cabbage worm. I don't know if you can see that, that green little worm here, but um, basically these things like to munch on the uh, brassias, uh, any plants in that family, which would be like your cabbage, your kohlrabi, your broccoli, your cauliflower, um, anything that's like leafy, big, and green, they like to munch on. Let's see if we can zero in on some damage that these things have done already. Uh, it is May 9th. And these things have been active for the last maybe two weeks. Now that it's warm enough. Let's see if we can find a plant. Let's see if we can find the one that it was actually munching on. Ah. As you can see the holes in the foliage. That's what the... These little green worms are responsible for that. And what these are, these are the... Uh, the offspring of those pretty yellow, you, look, you think they're butterflies, but they're, they're actually cabbage moths that fly around in the summertime. And they rest on these plants, and what they do is they lay eggs on our little plants here. And what happens is they, they lay them in the middle there, they hatch, and then these worms crawl up the stems, and they're real hard to see, obviously. And then they start munching on the leaves. So anytime I start seeing little holes on the leaves, I know it's time to go uh, cabbage worm hunting, which the kids love doing. We don't have a, a big operation here, so I'm not, you know, spraying these uh, plants with, you know, organic pesticides or uh, powders or anything like that. We just come out here and catch them. And usually we catch uh, one or two a night, which is enough. And most of these plants, they can sustain a lot of damage to the foliage and still be pretty productive so it's not you know the end of the world if a few of them escape our our uh, our grasp but uh, that's kind of what we did and so what we do after we we've caught one and usually they come out at they come out at night uh, pretty late you know about uh, two hours after sunset they'll come out they'll also come out or be out in the early morning So anyway, we catch these, and the first uh, one or two of the season that we catch, we put in a little jar with one of the affected leaves, and um, let the kids admire it for a little while, and then eventually uh, I dispose of it. So um, anyway, it's one of the highlights of the summer. They like they like hunting for them, being out in the yard, and when school's out, they'll be out here later and later to. Help me catch these little critters, which again are about an inch long, bright green. So I guess that's it. We'll try to make maybe another video of some of the garden pests that we'll face this summer or this as the spring progresses here. So um, I guess that's it.